Hey Ravens, welcome back to the Roundup. I'm Jack Clayton alongside Ryan Atchison. Today we'll bring recaps of boys and girls basketball, boys swim and dive, and bowling from over the weekend. Last Friday night, the boys basketball team traveled to face off against Lawrence Free State for the number one spot in the Sunflower League. It was a back and forth battle all night long with the Northwest taking an early lead, but Free State bounced back and took control of the game, knocking down a bunch of threes. The Ravens fell short 56-50. Their next game will be in Pittsburgh, Kansas for their second tournament of the year starting tomorrow. The Lady Ravens also traveled to play Lawrence Free State last Friday night as they hope to keep their winning streak alive. The game also went back and forth with Northwest just keeping the lead at half 23-21. In the second half, the Lady Ravens came out hot, scoring 37 points and finished the night with a 60-50 win. The Lady Ravens have now won seven straight games and are 5-0 in Sunflower League play. The Lady Ravens will continue the ride as they face St. Teresa's Academy tomorrow night here at o w On Tuesday night, the Ravens swim and dive team hosted Blue Valley Northwest and Olathe West for senior night in their home pool. Seniors Jacob Wheatman, Drew Bond, Josh McKee, Ken, Quinn Suda, Stephen Grable, Braden Harder, Bradley Davis, Joe Claycomb, and Austin Ning all competed for their final time at Prairie Trail Middle School. The boys will swim again next Thursday the 25th. The o w bowling team swept their very first beat of 2018 yesterday at Mission Bowl Olathe. For girls varsity, Malia Smotherman had the highest series with a 494, and on the boys' side, Jared Coker took home the highest series with a 617. Both JV and varsity girls and boys won the meet. Congrats on a very successful day. Their next meet is tomorrow at Park Lanes. That's all we have for Roundup. Check back later for more highlights of our Raven Athletics.